All right, now there we go. I've been muted this entire time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's uh, broadcast of Florida Southern College Moccasins Rocket League against King University. We are down early in this game one. This is a best of five series. The mocks are trailing one to zero. We are one minute into this first game. Kay Frost is going to try to make a play at it. Now May has a nice touch. Nice clear by King University. We'll send the ball downward until Patient Zero just misses that redirect. Now Cabot. May trying to make a play. Can't quite do it. Cabot going to go towards the net. Can't make anything happen there. Now K-Frost is going to have an opportunity. Pranzer with a nice touch. Now K-Frost. K-Frost with a nice demo. Now May going to play the ball towards center. Where his teammate is eagerly waiting, KC Colt with the goal. Puts King University up in this series, up in this game, excuse me, 2-0. to zero. Kickoff going in favor of King until Cabot gets there. KC Colt going to interrupt that play. Patient zero just missing, now Pranzer. Last one back, no boost. Going to try to make something happen. Patient Zero with a nice touch. Now going to try to dribble it up. Mate has different plans. A little bit of bumping back and forth here. A nice touch by King. That's going to be dangerous. Cabot with a nice banger to get that one out there. Cabot going to put it towards net. A little wide. Nice demo. Pranzer. Now Patient Zero is going to have a chance, and that's going to make it in the back of the net. Patient Zero getting the mocks on the scoreboard. A nice shot there by Patient Zero. Mox are not going to go down without a fight. K Frost with a nice uh, touch here. Cabot now towards center. Patient Zero. Going to try to make something happen. Get it out of here. Casey Cole has different plans going right back in. Patient Zero with a nice touch. Now K Frost. K Frost with a nice dribble. Not going to be able to save that King University going up 3-1. to one. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. How's it going? To Rikon, one of our, our jungler on our League of Legends roster. Thank you for the shout-out. Here we go, another kickoff. K-Frost going to get to it first. I think it towards center does have full boost. Patient Zero now going to try to get it out. This is going to be awkward. Nice redirect by King. K Frost now. Patient Zero. A ball awkwardly going towards center. Oh, a nice shot, but a better save and a follow up by Pranzer. Florida Southern College getting that goal right there against a tough King University defense. Now only trailing 3 to 2. Another kickoff going in the favor of King University. Now KC Cole going to try to make something happen. Pranzer are going to knock him around. Now Mate. Oh, a nice shot there by K-Frost. And a, a nice pass by Mate will put King up 4-2 to two again. Up, uh, up two goals again in this uh, game one. K-Frost now going to try to dribble it towards the goal. This is a nice dribble there. And he's going to fake them all out and take the ball right into the net. King University now up 5-2. to two. We are just over halfway through this game number one in this best of five series. Florida Southern does lead, or do, does trail 5-2 to two in this one. Patient Zero now going to try to dribble it up here. Has about half boost, an awkward touch. Cabot going to go towards center here. K-Frost is there to intercept the ball and send it towards his offensive end. Now Casey Colt, nice try there. Now Cabot's going to have an opportunity. Nice dribble there, but Mate's going to stop it. Patient zero now. Now Mate, going to have an opportunity. A nice save there by Pranzer. That is just going to get uh, the ball out of there. Now Cabot going to have a chance. Going to try to fake it. Nice save there by K-Frost. Now, Casey Colts is going to have a chance to dribble it in. 
A nice save there by Patient Zero. Going to interrupt that that uh, dribble. Mate has a touch. Now Patient Zero. That's an awkward touch by Mate. Now Prezer towards center. This is awkward. Now there's an opportunity here for the Mox. Can't quite make anything happen. Now Cabot getting a ball up the field a little bit here. Going to have an opportunity to dribble it towards center. A nice save by K-Frost, but a better shot by Patient Zero. And there's the Mox coming back right again. Now only trailing 3-5. to five. Here's another kickoff. This one in the favor of Pranzer, but Mate's going to be right there to put the ball towards the Mox defensive end. Now Casey Colt with a chance. A nice save by Cabot. Now Mate going to have a chance. Gets bumped. Pranzer going to have a chance. Now Cabot looks for a redirect. A nice shot there, and the Mox are only down by one. 24 seconds left in this game number one. The Mox fighting their way back. Now only down by one goal. A nice hit. A nice kickoff there by K-Frost. Going to have an opportunity to make something awkward here. But misses the ball. Now Casey Cole. K Cabot. A nice flick there. Not going to be able to get it on net, though. Now K-Frost has an opportunity. There's only seven seconds left in this game. The Mox are going to have to get the ball towards the net if they want to tie it up. Casey Cole going to be able to dribble it. Can't quite get to the ball before it hits the ground. And King University will take game number one in this best of five series. Absolutely great game one by the Mox here as they just continue to fight and fight to try to get back into this game. And now we get ready for game number two here in this best of five series. This is Nace Star League. King University is undefeated, I believe, at this point. Mox, I believe, are three and two. I'll have to double check that when I have a chance. Nice kickoff there. Patient zero. Oh, that's an awkward miss by Mate. This is going to be an awkward opportunity. Ball going towards the net. A chance to score. Can't quite make it. Cabin going to get an awkward touch. Gets demoed. K-Frost going to be able to... Uh, Bring something back here. That was a very awkward start for King University. Now Mate dribbling it up. A nice interrupt by Cabot. Now K-Frost. Now Pranzer's going to have a chance. A nice just hit the ball as hard as you can. Pranzer maybe get an opportunity. A nice stop there by Patient Zero. Now K-Frost. Now Cabot. Mate. Can't quite get the hit on the Way back. Now Pranzer's going to have a chance. Gets a nice little touch there. K-Frost going to try to dribble it out. And he successfully does. But Patient Zero has a different plan. He's going right back at this, uh, the goal of this uh, King University team. Mate beats the Mox to the ball. Now Casey Cole going towards center. Just missing. It was a bit wide there. A nice demo by Pranzer. Casey Colt now has a chance. Going to hit it towards center. Now Cabot, nice redirect. K-Frost interrupting. Gets a chance at net. And he's going to get it in, mate, with the goal. Nice, nice goal there by mate on King University. Nice little tap right in. The Mox will lead in this game. Will trail, excuse me, in this game number two. Mate with a nice kickoff. Now Cabot has an opportunity. A little low on boost. Patient zero. Pranzer now has a chance. K Frost. Cabot now with a ball. KC Cole going to have a chance to do something. Can't quite do it. Pranzer just making it awkward to get it out. Patient zero. Nice deflection. Mate not going to be able to make a play on it. Now Cabot has a chance. Tries to get it out. Can't quite do it. Casey Colt going to pass it over to K-Frost, who's going to have a chance at dribbling. Cabot with a nice save. Ball going towards center. Pranzer 
Gets that ball out there. Cabot redirects it towards center. Now Mate's going to have a chance. Can't quite get a good hold on it. This is going to give him the Mox a chance, but not quite. Casey Colt is there. Okay, Frost has a free shot there. Mox just caught a little bit off guard, a little bit too far on the offensive end as the King University has a nice free open net there. Takes advantage up 2-0. Here's the kickoff. Patient Zero with a nice uh, touch there. Mate's going to dribble it. Pranzer can't quite make it up there. A little flick there to K-Frost. Going to bring the ball down. A nice save by Patient Zero. Now Cabot. Cabot's trying to get the ball up there. Nice little save there by King University. A little bit of back and forth touching on the ball there. Now Casey Colt with a good dribble. Patient Zero with a nice deflection towards center. Cabot can't quite get there first, but does get there second. Now Pranzer's going to have a chance. Pranzer trying to stay focused here, trying to get a ball towards center. Mate gets there first, but Cabot does get there on the redirect. Now Casey Colt clears the ball. Here's a shot by Frost. Frost is going to get the ball again, trying to pass it back to one of their teammates. None of them are ready. They're going to try to reset here as Casey Colt starts dribbling. Air dribble gets demo. That's going to give it a chance to the Mox, but the Mox can't quite direct it towards net. Now Casey Frost loses that 50-50. Prans are getting a free shot here by Patient Zero, and he's going to put it in the back of the net. Mox getting the ball in the goal. Mox are only down by one here with a minute 30 to go. Kickoff there. Going to give a chance to King University. A nice save there by Pranzer. Now Cabot. Cabot with a nice double touch. Mate going to have an opportunity, but Pranzer is there. K-Frost answers. Now Casey Colt beats the defense of the Mox. And King University goes up 3-1. to one. Here we go for a nice kickoff there. Pranzer. It's a nice 50-50 ball. K-Frost going to beat him there. Patient zero now on the offense. Ball gets redirected towards center. Cabot with a nice touch, but a better save by Mate. One minute to go in this game number two. Cabot with a nice touch just misses the goal. Just a little high on that upper 90. Now with a clear by Cabot. Now Casey Colt's going to have a chance. Goes towards center. K-Frost can't quite get a good hold of it. Now Cabot. Cabot's going to dribble it up. Has a little bit of a chance because of some awkward play there. Mate now going towards center. Patient Zero now has a chance. K-Frost flicking it up. Cabot beats him to it. Going towards center, Casey Colt save, Prancer shot, and Cabot going to put it in the net. 14 seconds to go, Florida Southern trailing one goal. There is enough time, but do they have enough time to make something happen? Will they make something happen in that time? We shall see. Nice kickoff in the favor of King University. This is not going to be good for the Mox in this game. Now K Frost trying for an opportunity here. Five seconds to go. Pranzer with a nice shot. Casey Colts in an awkward place. Gets a touch up. One second. As soon as it hits the ground, it's over. And there it is. It hits the ground. King University takes the game. Number two. With a final score of three to two. That is game number two going on the side of King University. Another one goal game. You can just, you can taste it if you're the Mox. You just got to finish it out. A nice game, though, by King University. As I said before, King University is undefeated in this group, this nice Starly group. So King University is 4-0 in their uh, Southeast 2 NACE uh, conference.
Uh, George Mason is the other undefeated team, both at 4 and 0. Florida Southern currently is 2 and 3. They're tied for 6th place out of uh, the 8 teams. Out of the 8 9 teams, excuse me. It's been a rough season for the Mocs from Rocket League and on Nace. They're in a tough conference. That's for sure. Getting the ball in the goal, yes. Thank you, Connor, for stopping by. How's it going, everybody? I am on casting duty. You get to hear my beautiful voice try to explain this intense game of Rocket League here. Mate, on King, King University is the blue side in this uh, match here. K-Frost going to have a chance. A little bit awkward off the wall. Can't quite convert. Now Casey Colt going to have a chance going towards center. A little high. K-Frost trying to redirect. Now Cabot going the other way. Cabot's going to have a chance. Can't quite block it, but does get actually does get a little bit of a, a touch on that ball. Now Patient Zero heading towards center. Pranzer going to try to make a play. Does make a play going off the top, but K-Frost is there. K-Frost gets a nice clear. This is going to be awkward for the Mox. Cabot does dribble it away. Mate misses. This is going to be good for the Mox. Casey Colt now has a chance. Pranzer, nice clear, trying to get it away, trying to get that pressure out of the offensive end. Now Cabot going to go off the wall, trying to go towards center as Pranzer's there waiting, and there, off the top bar, and there it is, patient zero. Holy cow. You can feel my blood pressure spiking every time it hit that top. A nice goal there by patient zero, securing it. Mox leading game number one, one to zero. An awkward little touch there is going to give the Mox a chance potentially. Casey Cole gets the second touch. A demo by Mate. It's going to be awkward. Nice save by Patient Zero. Now Mate. That's high. Now Pranzer. Getting bumped. It's going to give Cabot some time to get this clearance going. Awkward touch, and that's going to give K-Frost the opportunity to put the ball in the net. King University ties up game number three, one to one. Here we go. Kickoff again, mate. Cabot get a 50 there. Cabot gets a nice touch. Now patient zero with a nice touch gets demoed in the air. K-Frost. Now Casey Colt. Now patient zero. It's going to be a slow high ball, giving Mate an opportunity to uh, dribble this. Now Pranzer interrupting it. This is going to be awkward. K-Frost with a nice touch. Cabot now. Half boost. Trying to make something happen. Cabot now. Dribbles over two defenders. Running out of boost. Now it's all. There it is. It all becomes mechanics at that point, and Cabot does just what he needs to do to put the ball in the net. Mox taking the lead. Mox up two to one with two minutes and 40 seconds left in game number three. They did drop the two first, uh, the first two games in this best of five series. With their backs against the wall, the Mox are trying to fight for this game number three. Cabot going towards center. This could be an opportunity. Patience here with an awkward touch. Now Mate's going to have a chance. Mate can't quite make anything happen. Now Pranzer. Casey Cole. Now Cabot. Cabot's going to have something. Misses on that flick. Now K-Frost. A nice interruption by Patient Zero there. Now Pranzer has an opportunity. This is going to come off the back. Not quite, Mate. Interrupting that. Now Cabot. Cabot with a nice touch. Just wide. Now Pranzer going toward center again. Patient Zero gets interrupted by Mate. Now Casey Colts trying to get something going. A nice flick there. Interrupted. Now Pranzer can't quite make the touch. Now Patient Zero. Pranzer with a nice flick. Mate, awkward. Going to have a chance here. Cabot with a 50. Now Pranzer can't quite get there first. Patient Zero. Pranzer is available on the other side of the field. Mate. Casey Cole. Now Cabot. 
going the opposite direction. Patient Zero has a chance. Doesn't have much boost there. K Frost. Prancer with a nice interruption. A nice demo there by Patient Zero. Cabot now. Stolen by K Frost. Off the backboard. Casey Colts there. Nice save. Now May awkward. Misses the touch there. Now Cabot. A 50 ball. K Frost wins it. But with no boost, not much is going to happen here. Most likely. Cabot with a nice touch. Now Patient Zero. Can't quite beat Casey Cole. Now K Frost. This is awkward. Nice shot by K Frost. Nice save by Cabot. Now Cabot trying to get that ball out of the defensive end, trying to alleviate some of this pressure. Patient Zero with a nice ball. A pinch by Casey Colt. Not going to have any boost to make anything happen there. Now Cabot. Nice block, but goes wide. Now Mate going towards center. K Frost with a redirect. Now this is going to give Patient Zero a chance. Gets a nice clear. Pranzer off the wall. Mate off the backboard. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. And there it goes. Florida Southern taking game number three. Every single one of these games is only determined by one goal. It's been an absolutely phenomenal series. Game number three. Florida Southern takes two to one. And now we get ready for game number four. This is a best of five series. And it has been very, very close. Here we go, game number four in this best of five series. The Mox trailing in the series two to one, but they won game number three. Every single game has been a one goal difference. And here we go, a nice kickoff there. Casey Colt's gonna have a chance, make something happen. Now Patient Zero misses the 50, but Pranzer now towards Patient Zero with a nice redirect, a nice save by K Frost. Now Mate, pass to K-Frost, off the backboard. Cabot's gonna interrupt it. That's nice there, KC Colt now has a chance. Can't quite make a lot happen there. Patient Zero now gonna try to make something uh, good for the Mox. Cabot, no boost, but a nice clear gets it over this King University team. Now Pranzer off the backboard. Patient Zero just missing the shot. Now Mate with a flick. Cabot does get a touch on it. Now Pranzer does get it, also get a touch on it. Now Patient Zero can't quite flick it in time. This is getting awkward for the Mox. Trying to get it out. This King University lineup is not letting up on this pressure in game number four. Now Casey Cole. A nice bump by Cabot. Now Mate. Now K-Frost is going to try to dribble it out. Now Mate, a nice touch there by Pranzer. Casey Colt is there to save it. Now Patient Zero. Casey Colt with a nice touch. Both players missing. Now K Frost. K Frost dribbling. Awkward for the Mox. A nice save there by Pranzer. A pinch. Casey Colt. Now Mate with a shot. Off the side. Pranzer now trying to get it out. Casey Colt towards center. Now Patient Zero trying to get it out. Mate on the attack. Pranzer with a nice touch to stop the attack. Now Pranzer missing. Now Cabot off the corner trying to get it towards center. Now Patient Zero going towards center. K Frost with, hits the ball the opposite direction. Casey Colt, nice touch. Pranzer back on the offensive end of the mocks. Pranzer towards center. 
Patient Zero tries to get the ball in the net, can't quite do it, misses. Now Pranzer has a chance, now Cabot, a nice touch off the sideboard, has a chance, can't quite get it in. Now Cabot. K-Frost with a shot, this is going to be awkward, and a nice shot off the backboard. K-Frost redirects it in as King University goes up 1-0. Here we go, two minutes and two, 25 seconds left in this game number four. King University up one nothing. Every single one of these games has been a one goal difference. King University currently on top of the conference in the standings, four and zero. Oh. Florida Southern currently two and three in sixth place in the conference. Cabot. Florida Southern Mocs are playing a lot better than their conference and record would uh, would lend. And we're seeing it in this series exactly. A nice save there by Cabot. Now trying to make something happen. Pranzer, nice touch. Off the backboard, K. Frost is just going to fling that the opposite direction. Casey Colts there, pushes it towards center. Patient Zero now going towards the other end. Patient Zero trying to get it off the back. Can't quite do it. K. Frost on the attack. Now Cabot on the attack, going towards center. Casey Colt with the save. Patient zero. Casey Colt, ball kind of hanging out and towards center. Now K-Frost with a nice pinch towards center. A nice clear there by the Mox. But King is there. Pranzer with the ball. Now on the offensive. Casey Colt turning it the opposite direction. Couple misses here. Patient off the wall. K Frost. Pranzer going for a shot now. Cabot off the wall. Shot by Patient Zero, but a save by the King University team. But there, Cabot has a chance. A beautiful save by K Frost. That was a lot closer of a shot than I thought it was going to be. Patient Zero now going towards goal. Saved by K Frost. Now the Mox own, are owning the, uh, the the ball at this point, keeping up the pressure, trying to get the ball to go towards the net. All of their shots so far have been wide or high. Ten seconds left to go here, mate. Mox need to get the ball in the back of the net if they want to keep this series going. A nice ball towards the Mox defense, and Mate's going to touch it to the ground as King University takes the series 3-1. to one. Again, every game in that series is determined by one goal. Absolutely fantastic series for both teams. You've got to be proud of the results here if you're a Florida Southern. Absolutely phenomenal, close series. King University does take it, but every game was determined by one goal. The Mox will be um, off next week as spring break starts. We have two more matches this year, uh, this season, um, in the regular season that is. Uh, trying to pull that up right now. They are off uh, next week, and then the next week they have a bye, so they're not back until the reschedule of next week's match or uh, the 21st. So keep an eye out on Twitter. Um, but thank you, everybody, for stopping by. That is tonight's production. Uh, GG's to both teams, King University and Florida Southern. We will be back next time.